honey in my chicken. Because with the few that I started, I could sell the eggs. The Kenyaji eggs, very much in demand. Eh? So don't get into it because of money. That's the one of the mistakes people are doing. <laughs> Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture. My name is Mary Consola Tangeri. I'm a farmer, poultry farmer. Um, it's a passion. I started farming way back while I was working at the backyard of my house. I started with three chicken that I multiplied into a hundred. And how it all began is that uh, my house, my house manager, my the lady, she went home for a holiday and came back with a chicken. Sent, sent uh, the dad gave gave her one chicken to bring me. And I didn't eat that chicken. I kept it. And instead, I had three more. And from that three, I went on. What do you say? my <laughs> and I got like a hundred chicken from brooding myself from the chicken that I had. Now I'm a farmer of more than 700 chicken. There's Kenyaji and there's also the improved Kenyaji. So I do pure Kenyaji chicken. I have two birds, two types of chicken. I have the Kenyaji chicken that is, is available and that and brood on itself. And I have the improved Kenyaji chicken that is also available in all ages that you want. They're ready to eat the chicks one month from one month old and above. From the 100, while I was working, that was for family intake. I wasn't doing it commercially. And uh, after that, I, I decided to quit work which I had worked many years, over 10 years in petroleum industry. But I decided to quit and join farming last year. Up to today, I thank God and I'm a happy farmer, that I'm happy it's the right decision I made because I've seen a lot of progress. From 100, from 100 chicken, I'm now ranging to almost 700. I'm looking forward to having thousands in a few months to come. Currently, I have a different sizes of chicken. I have chicks that are one month old, one and a half month old. I have others that are three months old. And I have others, the pure kienyeji, the pure kienyeji that are eight months and above. And others are three months. And others are one month, the pure kienyeji. So it depends. <coughs> on what you'd want because all of them I'm selling. Also trying also to remain some mother flocks, especially the Kienyeji that I can keep on breeding for my future business development. <laughs> Having been brought uh, up in a farming family, I can say, and as I said, farming is a passion to me. It's something like I, I like and enjoy doing. So even the time I was working, I was doing farming on the side. So when I resigned, when I stopped working, resigned from the petroleum industry, I asked myself what I would be doing. Of course, there are those things I have the qualities to go back to work, to get another job, even with the many years experience. But I told myself, no, this is the high time I got into doing what I like doing most and enjoying doing most. Something that I'll just go back home and feel, yes, I've achieved something at the end of the day. I'm happy, I've seen. Uh, uh, it's something you're happy, you, you're happy doing, I mean. So now when I resigned, that's when I made my option. So do I look for another job? No. Do I start farming? So I realized with the little money that I had and the, my, with the support from my husband, I could venture into this business. And that's how the journey began. From now, the backyard in my house that I was doing for family consumption, the, from the 100, I now went into full business, commercial business. 
so yes that's where i am now and that's how it began and i'm looking forward to growing this is just the beginning i'm looking forward to growing to be the big large scale farmer who can even supply and support other farmers uh, i've attended various though being a vet vet i haven't been trained on veterinary medicine but I, I'm also attending some training to remind myself on where I stopped those many years ago. Uh, then it's challenging me, yes, because I've seen the, some of the people, farmers we are attending trainings with, they are asking so many questions that I feel I will need to grow myself to that level I'm able to hold people's hands and grow together. As I look for market for my business, I would also want to order the people and grow with them. I mean, that's the only way. If we all grow together, we're going to be a big thing together. My success and success for other people will also be my success. With the little farming that I'm doing, I'm also encouraging and motivating so many other farmers that are starting small. From my flock and others buy elsewhere and I support them with ideas. Maybe you may ask why I chose chicken, being a vet and I'm having the knowledge of other things. Uh, I can tell you, maybe it's because I'd, uh, I was already practicing chicken. And having left work, getting to chicken was the easier one for me then. Because I was already having the backyard, the, the Android chicken. And uh, comparing with where I live and the farm that I own, it is not as big. So I saw what I could utilize most with the small farm that I have was the poultry business. I could, it is, it is not a, that, a, what do I say? I, I would do other farming and I'm looking at one day I'll do those other farming. But currently, chicken was the easier one for me having stepped out of work and with the current, with the money that I hand then. And also, I think, there's also the leaning of one side. I love chicken. I love birds. Let me say that. Because uh, when, even the time I was keeping them, my chicken, a few of them, I would choose the different types of chicken. Mm? The bantam, there's the ornamental buns, and then there's commercial, there's ones for laying, there's the big jogos, you know, the big chicken, cocks and that, roosters. So for me, it was more of the, 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 there's something with chicken, and the mind therapy about it at times you can i will even sit down come at the farm sit down look at this chicken spend time with them and it and some some therapy in it eh? i think with that connection me and the chicken that time i was not looking at the money as per se no because of course i had not started uh, gaining anything but the connection about the chicken myself but now afterwards, after I went to blood skill, I realized there's money in the chicken. Because with the few that I started, I couldn't sell the eggs. The Kenyaji eggs, very much in demand. Like any other employee, I would say, that we think having your own business, you have a lot of time, free time, which I say yes, no, depending on how you plan yourself, uh, to begin with. Uh, one key thing is you need to plan yourself and that is what has helped me so much to grow in this business because you find out there are very many activities for the for myself to say that I need to carry out the fact that I have staff and the, the team at the, or the farm to do other actual work I also have a lot of things to do on the background for example by my let me just share on how my typical day is Normally I work with a plan because with the chicken, you know, they are planned for different activities like vaccinations. There are days for coming to, to put a, a, they call do dust to prevent insects. There are days for disinfecting their full house. There are days for changing their flocks. There are days for counting your flocks to, to check whether your records are at, at par with you. What exactly is on the ground? You know, having one deducting on the, on the Records every day is not uh, the same as what is on the ground. You remember, you're not the same person operating this thing 24 hours. You have other team operating, so you need to do some part of checks every time now and then. So my day, it is dependent, dependent on the plan I have. Like if I say like tomorrow, let me give us the example like tomorrow, I intend to hunt the feeds for this chicken. So when I get at the farm tomorrow, 
I spent some time just sitting as I am seated here to observe my chicken and see, you know, there's a good thing in observing. You either pick one thing that the team on the ground was not able to pick. As the owner and I also have in the background of the vet, there's what I'm able to pick and also able to check that identifies whether they are healthy, whether they need some vitamins, whether we are feeding right, whether we, we need to check whether they are gaining weight, right? right? Like now, there's already what I'm selling. I need to know the weights are of them so that when I'm putting the media or when I'm marketing, I know what weight I'm telling customers. So there's all that I plan to do tomorrow. <clears throat> then I also need to meet a few of my customers that I sell to uh, the Kifarangas, the chicks, and also some that I'm intending to, to talk to on large scale business on supply for the chicken. So that is what I'm planning for tomorrow. Another day, the schedule will be different depending on my plan. Soon I'll be vaccinating my two months old chickens again. So, you know, those vaccines is what is given for that, the injections and that. I need to do that. So the day after, I'll be planning for that. So my schedule will be different. So in, in, for me, it is not a routine, not a, a routine, but I also get involved at times on the farm. I get involved on the routine where we wake up very, I come direct to the farm, wake up very, and join the team as they clean <coughs> the feeding containers, the water containers. Like here we have, um, is a water engine system, it's from one point. It's otters and it supplies from across all the uh, so we need to check with the cleanliness I need to check whether everything has been done right right have they been checking the water up in the tanks that is supplying all this so I do my normal checks that that early morning with them we feed chicken in the morning then we monitor those ones that want to, those that are brooding you say remember I said I have a Kenya chicken so there are those ones that are getting broody we need to check which ones are they that we prepare the eggs for what we put for them to brood on so there's all that eh? poultry farming is not as easy as it looks or is not as hard as it looks it is it is dependent on how you handle it eh? to begin with I can say there are challenges challenges that can put you off from the word go and the others along the way. One first challenge is the cost of feet. Cost of feet is too high. Making the cost of rearing chicken very high. And of course, leaving the margin to be very slim. Why, where am I going to when I say that? Is because when the, the cost, the, the price for this chicken is determined too much on the expenses. And one of the major expenses is the feet. We will say there's also the, 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 the cost of uh, medicine and, and that and diseases, the challenge of diseases. But for diseases, you're able to control because the, if you follow the vaccination program, you're good. You'll not miss here and there, but those other ones are able to be controlled. Again, you don't want to make sure to, to, to feed your chicken with medicine. Medicine is not food, eh? Sorry. So you need to control using the vaccination program, follow it up well, and uh, that the challenge of uh, diseases will be not as much. I go back to the challenge of feeds because now that it determines on how much you're going to sell this. And then that brings me to the third challenge of market. Market, yes, there are people who are out there to buy. People are ready, you get people who are approaching you, they want to buy the whole flock. But again, what price are they giving you? And what, how much did you spend? On your chicken so now the feeds if we are able to get a better price for cheap feeds that would be perfect so we are hoping the the, the institution that in the manufacturing of feeds are able to check on their feeding on the prices for their feeds but even now so we are looking at one day to start manufacturing our own feeds that is where we are going because with the kind of feeds that we, and again, there's so much feed out there in the market, but you can't give everything to your chicken. So you look at the quality feeds. These quality feeds do not come cheap. So that is the challenge, the biggest challenge that also affects how we are going to sell these chicks. Chicken, because when you get these um, brokers, they're not giving us. A good price considering what you spent in the rearing of the chicken. 
So that is the biggest challenge at the moment, the feed cost. Uh, that is also affecting the selling price today. today. But um, with, the, with the progress, I can assure you it will be, it will be good with time because you're looking at manufacturing my own fruits at the farm, which will be much better for, for my expenses, yes. I would encourage many, as many people as to join the business. Main reason is because you don't have to start as I have this many. I also did not start with the many that I have, I have today. I did not start with these big structures that you can see. I started small. I, I, I can tell you I started in a, in a, well, a very, I, I don't know even how to explain because it was just a cube, a very small one, that I started with three chicken. So I'm saying you don't have to start big and the secret is please learn from small to big. Don't try to jump that one and imagine that you'll be a millionaire overnight. It has its own processes. You have to start small, learn with the small, face the challenges, fail, wake up, and uh, in the process, you'll be a better farmer than that than starting big and then go down again. So you start small, go up slowly, slowly. As of today, I've grown many farmers. Some, they're my employees that I used to have, then you give them three chicken, somebody comes later and tell you, today, mom, I have like 50. So is you start small. And uh, I'm inviting those who are so willing. And with the passion, of course, you have to like it. Don't get into it because of money. That's the, one of the mistakes people are doing. Because now you're, you are jobless, you want to jump and stay. The next easy thing to do is chicken because you have little money. You can do chicken or you need to have the passion. You need to feel that this is what you want to do. You need to feel this. If this fails, you wake up again and try again and again and again. So have the passion. Uh, another advantage is that you don't have to starve a lot of capital. You can do it at the backyard, small. Learn from that backyard as you save for the large business, for the bigger business. So it's a, it doesn't need a lot of capital. But remember, even if we're saying it's not a lot of capital, you need to be have saved well because you need the feeds. You need, so of course, the vaccines. These things are not cheap. As I said, feeds is one of the biggest challenge with the poultry farming. So you need to be have saved a little bit, at least to take you to the, to the extent that you're able to break even or to an extent that you are able to get your own chicken able to feed themselves. Currently, I have chicken that are ready for sale. Um, the mature ones that are ready to go and eat. Very tasty Kenyan chicken. Um, they are ready for selling to direct customers who are buying bulky. And I also those ones buying small quantities are very much welcome. When we can slaughter for customers, but again, it is dependent on the numbers. We can deliver dependent on the area you live, where you live, where you live. So that when you get in contact, you need to agree and see whether you're you able to deliver or you can come and pick. You know, that said, I'm also having chicks that are one month and a half old that are also available for sale. It depends. When you come, we can negotiate on the price depending on the number of chicken that you're taking. So again, I say the price, there's a price for the chicken, but again, the number for, that you're picking also determines on how much I'm able to charge you. Okay? And again, if you want them slaughtered or take them live, it also determines on how much I'm going to sell to you. Again, if you want me to deliver, and it's a further place than the location that we have allocated that we can deliver, we can also agree on that. So any customer is welcome. You're so welcome to see my farm and also learn as I'm learning. We learn together. Last but not least, uh, I would want to say, and one of the reasons I would very, very much want to mentor other fa small farmers, be, uh, be farmer like me or even to exit, I give them the blessing. It's because I was also mentored. I would want very much to appreciate a lady by the name Susan. She held my hand from when I was bringing in the large scale, when I was starting the large scale business, she was with me from the construction part of my structures and she was also part of my introducing the new chicks to my farm. And she held me my hand through the first lot. 
So I really very, very much want to appreciate her, Susan. Thank you very much. And that's the reason, because of you, I would want very much to go other young farmers. Thank you. Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture.